Second half of the game at the Western Oval beginning now and Footscray at this stage holding a one goal lead over Fitzroy. Tapped down there by Austin, the bounce doesn't favour anyone in particular, still in the bounce upring as you can see. Umpire Nash will bounce once again. Not much between the two sides, one goal, Footscray leading. Waiting on umpire Nash to get it going once again. The bounce favouring Dempsey gets the left uh, punch working, comes back towards Wilson. He's brushed aside, falls on top of the ball. Uh, it's Hubbard's looking for the free kick, and the free kick going against Hubbard's, oh, going to Hubbard's, I should say. Plays on a floating punt kick out towards Park on the half forward flank. The bounce, not a good one for him. He's chipping it out of the way. It's an opportunity here for Fitzroy, but they're taking it too slow. A tackle comes across. Carter was the player who was slow. Backed up well by Padley. Kicked across the ground. Should favour Footscray down here. And a good mark taken at centre half forward. And that looks like Saxy down there. Looks like he may have been moved, Frank. He was playing at half back. There's the kick coming from the boot of Saxy up toward the full forward position. In the back against Flurry Sandland. And the free kick will be taken by Harvey Merrigan of Fitzroy. We've had quite a good deal today, these two. Very, two very accomplished footballers. And Sandland so far has kicked four goals. Kicked by Merrigan out toward the half back zone on the outer side, and once again the good mark taken. A hand pass comes up and through Rasmussen. Puts Grey go forward. The kick offline, only bringing up one behind. Well, a tidy bit of football takes Footscray onto eight goals, seven fifty-five points. Fitzroy on seven six forty-eight. Breeze, I would say, he has freshened slightly. Looking at the flag on the EJ Witten stand, we can see that uh, the breeze certainly favouring the end to which Fitzroy are kicking in the third term. That being the case, we should see a pretty good kick from Merrington. Torpedo punt kick, only about 60 metres. Being punched away by Dempsey. An opportunity here for Rasmussen to bounce, an unkind one for him. Picked up here by Irwin. Runs oh. straight back in the trouble. A tackle, a low one by a round. Comes back to where Rasmussen's got a chance again. Punched aside here by Irwin. Taken by Murphy. Side steps nicely. Onto the left foot he goes. The ball off the side of the boot. Up to where there's a chance here for Linton, who can't pick it up in the half volley. Pushes the ball ahead of him now. Hand pass called for, but he just can't handle the ball. Uh, a bit of weight being used. Linton's still in there trying. Umpire watching it very closely. Weight being used as it's knocked off the ground and over the line and out of bounds, about 10 metres over the centre wing with Footscray in attack. Yeah, Jennings came through the pack very hard there, Frank, and uh, couldn't take the ball with him. There's a boundary throw and taking place. Austin and Dempsey, the ball tapped at the back where Featherby has the opportunity. Beat to the ball by Thompson. Thompson takes the free kick, plays onto his skipper Murphy. Murphy now drives with a floating punt kick down toward the half forward zone. The ball forced out of the pack, a chance for David Wall. Hand pass comes back and Fitzroy in business, a kick from Irwin. Into the forward pocket, a chance for Doug Searle. Searle straightens up, could have run into the goals had he wanted. And has collected a kick from the pocket to bring up his third goal of the game. Searle was moved after, after quarter time from the centre half back uh, to the full forward position and now has kicked his third goal in the match. Well, not much in it now, only one point. This is the story of the game on the board. Fitzroy on 8-7, Fitzroy on 8-6. I noticed in the start of the first and second quarters, Fitzroy were quickly away in both those periods, scoring the first two goal, two goals for each quarter. So let's see if Fitzroy can do it once again. But the pattern has been Fitzroy away quickly, Fitzroy fighting back in the latter part of the turn. And they go Austin versus Dempsey. Austin winning out on this occasion, taps the ball down. Russ Musson, who's been pretty active so far this quarter, can't get to it. Wilson with the, his hands on the ball, but a free kick going Fitzroy's way. Fitzroy needing a goal. There's a kick up towards the half forward flank, being punched away here by O'Keefe. He's first to recover, gets a hand pass working for him, looks for Thompson, a hand pass not all that good. The bounce is good though, and Thompson controls it well. Gets onto the left foot, kicks it long and low, up to where they stretch for it. Abby couldn't bring it down, Take, taken here by McMahon. Sights up the goals, onto the left foot he goes, the ball drifting through. That's four points to David McMahon. So there we are, we see Fitzroy once again at the start of a quarter, getting a couple of quick goals, and on this occasion they move on to nine goals, six, 60 points, puts Gray on 8.755. Very good thinking by McMahon, Frank, on that occasion. He realised he couldn't get to the flight of the ball, so he acted as rover uh, to his opponent, as a matter of fact, and his opponent spilt the ball. McMahon picked up nicely, swung around on the left foot, and kicked his second goal of the game. So Fitzroy now on 9.660 and Footscray on 8.755. It's been a very close game all day. Only points been separating the sides right throughout the game. I see McCulloch is coming on for Fitzroy. I can't quite pick up who is going off. We'll try and fill that in later. Dempsey and Austin clash in the middle at the, at the bounce. Not much coming from it. It's on the ground now. Forced down an opportunity existing for Footscray to come forward. And come forward they will through the boot of Jennings. He kicks up toward the half forward zone. The mark has been accepted. The call is the lead. Hubbard has the ball with the uh, park calling for it. Will be a 15 metre penalty now. Giving Hubbard to start to goal. A short pass is on. But I will say that umpire Nash 
will recall the ball and uh, make Havertz have another kick. Waiting on Havertz. 40 metres out from goal. Kicking into the breeze now. Floating punt. It'll drop short in the square. Up they go. They wait for it. Being punched away down here. The players losing sight of the ball. As over the line it goes. And out of bounds. Adjacent behind post for the Footscray side. Up it's sprinting up into position, waiting for the ruck work from round. McCulloch gets in there, the ball tapped down. Fitzroy playing for a free kick, it's not on. Wilson in there, gets a hand pass work from McCulloch. McCulloch just about threw it out. Rasmussen had an opportunity. McCulloch dives on top of it. Wilson trying to get through, hung on to by Featherby. And uh, holding the ball decision or holding the man? Holding the ball decision. Uh, according to umpire Nash, I thought it may have been reversed, but uh, that's the way he's seen it. Uh, so we'll see Footscray to have this shot at goal. The, the uh, Opportunity to go to the front once again. The kick is on. It's a high kick floating in. The umpire getting underneath it, indicating one behind. So Footscray still trailing to the tune of four points. 9660 in front of you there. Footscray 8856. Four points of difference in Footscray's favour. Looking downfield, Jack, it's not on camera, but uh, Glenn Robertson, the Fitzroy halfback flanker, in some degree of pain with a, an injured arm down there. Play goes on. Merrington drives the ball in. McCulloch gets front position. Punched away by Dempsey. Picked up quickly and kicked up towards the forward pocket area. Out comes Sanderlands. Couldn't mark it. Couldn't pick it up in the half volley. Well picked up by Padley. He drives it back to where Dempsey's trying to get back from an awkward position. He left it for Saxe. And Saxe will claim the mark on half forward. Play. Very lucky. Just about bounced away from him then. But now he plays on. Saxe driving with a wobbling kick up toward Huppets. Can't take the ball. It's in front of him still. Huppets controlled that one very well. A hand pass comes out for Gallagher from the forward pocket. Gallagher shoots around towards Sandalance. Sandalance can't take the mark. It's in the forward pocket still on the member side of the ground. No, no free kick play on. The hand pass from McMahon comes out now. And Fitzroy with a chance to go forward. A funny little hand pass to get himself out of trouble by Harvey Merrigan. Interception here was very good. And Rasmus is kicking in the world the goals now. But Wilson takes it away from Fitzroy. From the back pocket, Wilson drives up toward the stand wing. They fly high, no mark taken. Frank told you Robertson is injured. You can notice that by the way he went for that ball there. Wilson just dropped an easy one. A chance now for Footscray is Ian Lowe. He picks up, hand passes to Gallagher. Gallagher kicks high towards Sandlins. Sandlins gets up, got his hands to it on the second round. No, no mark. Ball play on. And Footscray desperately trying to get a goal. Apparently with the ball now, is tackled, but a bounce will take place. A bounce will take place, only 20 metres out from the Footscray goal. There's Glenn Robertson in the hands of the, the Fitzroy trainers, but it's back to the forward pocket. Footscray and attacker, Sandilands breaks clear, the kick smothered. Good football by Lloyd. The ball picked up here, and it's Irwin who breaks clear across the face of goal he goes and drives it long, Free but kick back there. Call back. A bit of weight being used down there. Laurie Sandilands and uh, Harvey Merrigan clashed after Merrigan was doing some shepherding to let the ball be taken away by Irwin, and the Sandilands pitched him to the ground. The umpires have conferred. I don't think there's going to be and a report come out of it, but it will be Fitzroy's free kick on the over toward the half-back flank on the outer side. Fitzroy in this third quarter, kicking toward the northern end uh, of the Western Oval, which is favoured by a slight breeze. Dempsey on centre wing, taking the mark for Footscray. An opportunity now for a short one to Quinlan, but he elects to go for the big kick into Ward Park. Linton under the ball for Fitzroy, can't take the mark. McMahon there for Fitzroy. Oh, oh, they call too high, and he will take the free kick for Fitzroy at centre half-back. To mind, David McMahon turned and twisted his way into that one and shouldn't have got the free. But anyhow, from centre half back, McMahon, a torpedo punt kick, a nice one too. Up towards centre half forward. Wall tried to tap the ball down, couldn't do so. Being picked up here by Thompson. Thompson goes for the bounce, trying to break clear. His own man, Smith, was in the way there. Wall uh, the floor, but uh, Thompson once again, and all sorts of bother. And now Pyre saying that he had enough time to get rid of it and tackle from behind for mine. Well, I don't know about that one. Anyhow, was judged to play on, so Wilson getting the free kick, puts it up towards the forward pocket. The fist comes in, the big punch is on. David Walls there for Fitzroy, but it's over the line and out of bounds, 50 metres away from Fitzroy's goal. Fitzroy with four points up on Fitzroy at this stage of the game, and we've just passed the nine-minute mark of the third quarter. Play going on in Fitzroy's forward pocket, but Fitzroy emerging with the free kick. Now it's Fitzroy getting the free kick, and Warwick Irwin will take it. A long way out from goal. I would say too far to score, but uh, the breeze isn't very strong. It is favouring the end to which he is kicking. Irwin with the ball for Fitzroy. Using a drop punt kick. It's right up to the square. Might just get through for a point only. Only one point to Irwin. Fitzroy move on to 9-7, 61. Five points up on Footscray on 8-8-56. Well, Fitzroy could be in the wars. Thompson, uh, or Robertson at least. 
doesn't look all that healthy on the half forward flank down there and uh, as we said they've already lost the player when McCulloch came on just after half time there's a kick, a nice looking one too. 60 metre one, out towards the half forward flank. Dempsey goes to spoil, succeeds. Wilson, a busy rover, picks up, whips a hand pass across towards Thompson. The left foot working up towards the forward pocket. The ball drop, dropping short. Searle trying to get back to him in the second grab. Still trying, can't get there. Picked up by Owen, a slick hand pass across to Appleton. Appleton blazes away right across the face of goal. That's into the crowd and out of bounds on the full. No, one point, I'm sorry. Just got through and uh, there's a foot scrape player down there who looks pretty surprised. Yes, he's looking for a free kick, Frank, but the umpire's ruled a point. Seemed to miss by a fair margin, but anyhow, that point takes Fitzroy on to a straight goal lead. They're 9-8, Footscray on 8-8. Colin Dell made position for that kick in from Gary uh, Merrington, but it's been ignored. Merrington kicks toward Dempsey on the outer side of the ground. Couldn't get to the ball. Gallagher was in there first, but we see Padley taking it away for Fitzroy. Padley must be playing on the ball on this occasion. Up toward Wall, couldn't take the mark. The ball forced to turf. A hand pass coming out of the pack, heading toward the boundary line where Merrington is there, but the umpire has indicated a boundary throw in. It's in Fit, uh, Fitzroy's forward pocket, only about 25, 30 metres away from their goal. Dempsey will have the back berth tapped down by Austin at the front of the pack. Shot at goal. The umpire indicates one point. Who was that had the shot? By Appleton. Appleton yeah. wasn't. Is that score? You can hardly find it. Yes, well, as we said before, it, uh, Racing that so we're about a furlong behind the field at the stage, aren't we, Barnes? Well, from where we're sitting. That's right, it's yes. a long way away and uh, conditions a little bit hazy. And uh, the colours are starting to blend into each other too. There's a torpedo kick in, a nice one. And a 60 metre one up there going, a good mark taken by Dempsey. He's Stood his ground some well. Good marks, hasn't he? He's been a good player today. He's uh, had a, a steadying influence on the Footscray side. We've mentioned that uh, Fitzroy has started off well each quarter. Footscray fighting back in the latter, latter part of each turn. Up they go. The man in front uh, couldn't bring it down. That being round. Picked up the kick. Smothered. Play halfway between centre and centre. Wing as round comes in again. Trying to break clear. Can't use his strength. The kick not all that effective. But clears a tap further forward. The ball on Fitzroy's half forward. Fitzroy's half forward flank. Over running it down there was Carter. Hank being hung onto was O'Keefe. He looked for the free kick. Not forthcoming. A left foot kick across towards the uh, centre of the ground. Uh, Linton's in there for the Fitzroy team. Jennings for Footscray. A hand pass by Murphy. Accepted by Irwin. The kick up towards centre half forward. Merrington couldn't get, get to it. Medical Austin picked up here by Saxe. Saxe gets balanced. Kicks off the side of the boot. Peter Welsh with an opportunity. Has the ball punched away from him. The ball picked up by Gallagher. Driven across the ground. Out towards Park on the half forward bank. Park with the hand pass across. This is good football. As Footscray through low. Move forward. The ball dropping short. And a fine passage of play coming to an end in the arms of Harvey Merrigan. Well, Harvey Merrigan playing out in front of Sandlands. Played a little, a little bit dangerously, but it, the punt paid off. There's the kick by Merrigan up toward the half-back zone. Gallagher picks up once again. Ducked the head in normal fashion. Now Huppert ducks his head. But there has been a free kick awarded, and it will go to McMahon of Fitzroy. At centre-half back, McMahon's looking down to where you see David Wall positioning himself at centre-half four. The kick in this direction. McMahon, uh, Wall sets himself, oh, had an easy one, uncontested, and spilt it. Hand pass comes out now, Linton takes it for Fitzroy, he kicks out hurriedly, back toward David Wall, and a more, much more difficult mark has been accepted by Wall. Serafini coming on for Fitzroy as Glenn Robertson goes off, and Fitz, Fitzroy at least move into attack, the ball kicked within 10 metres of goal. From the hands of the pack, the ball comes down, Appleton can't get his kick, follows up, has another quick snap at goal, it looks good, it is! So, fine roving by Appleton. Had a chance, muffed it, although he was under some degree of pressure, but came back well, secured, and put it through from about 10 metres out. So, a very lightly built rover, as you saw him running back to the centre then. And there's the story of the game so far. Fitzroy on 10-9-69, 13 points ahead of Footscray on 8-8-56. Umpire Nash about to put the ball down again at the 14-minute mark of the third quarter. That's Fitzroy sneaking away slightly from Footscray. The runner being ordered out of the... Uh, the square in the centre of the ground. Umpire Nash coming in to bounce once again. The umpire's just been vanished from the scene. There he is going off the ground. Punched out by Dempsey. Tapped out toward Linton. He didn't go in quickly enough, but Hastel has the ball in front of him. Oh, he should have got a kick going. He's in the hand pass. He put Irwin in all sorts of bother. But Irwin spins out nicely. A high kick and kicked in the general direction of the goal square. Up they fly. No mark taken. It's on the turf. The opportunity exists now for Gary Merrington to take it away for Footscray. He picks up his kick coming up towards centre half back. Jennings under the ball. Could have taken a mark. Tried to punch it out to a teammate. That's Gravely punching the football. The umpire indicates Footscray's free kick and Jennings will take it. Jennings, he's at centre half back. The ball gradually going back to him. 
goes for the short pass the lead and the markers to Peter Featherby on centre wing another short pass finds Ian Lowe on half forward flank Lowe uses the hand pass and it's in Gallagher's hands now he is onto the right foot hooks the ball high up towards the forward pocket they wait for it down there and a nice cool mark to Hart and Merrigan yeah, they've been playing out in uh, front of Santa Lange again Frank and picking and up good the ball thinking. good thinking because he's had four kicked against him he won't like that but there's a kick to Dempsey. Dempsey two grabs and took it on the second. On the left foot now. Back towards half forward. Barry round on up and took the mark. Round about 55 metres out. Playing for a short one in toward the forward pocket. Huppert sets himself. No mark. Has been paid. No, it's called play. Oh, he did no, pay the not. mark. I don't think he paid the mark or paid a free kick. No, I thought he paid the mark when he came in. It didn't sound the whistle first up. Well, if he did, I didn't see him indicate the mark. But Huppert may have been a shade fortunate here be picking up the kick he's in the forward pocket he will be pushed around from where he's standing now but only about 25 meters out Ray Huppert's coming in trying for his second goal of the game puts Gray training on 8-8 Fitzroy 10-9 Huppert's the shot the kick's on oops yes it's in all the way to Huppert's his second goal of the game and this game tightens up once again the welcome goal to the Fitzroy side they got their last goal incidentally 20 minutes into the second term and since then we saw a wall kick a goal just at the start of time on before half time and for the first half of the third term Searle, McMahon and Appleton gave uh, Fitzroy what looked like to be a pretty handy lead so they led by what, I think it was about 13 points and now of course that goal by Huppets tightens it as Jack's already told you only seven points separating the teams umpire Nash back in the centre once again up toward the 16 and a half minute mark of the third quarter, Dempsey winning in the ruck again, tapped the ball down, Appleton jumped in, had the ball taken from him, hand pass comes out by Saxe, and Footscray going forward now, up to Barry Rowd, oh, he dived on it, was he played, ball play on, Stevie Power backed him up, but didn't get the hand pass, it's Rowd doing a ton of work, against three Fitzroy opponents, but they're there, Stevie Power giving away the free kick, suffering the ball off the ground, out of the hands of the opposition, and it will be a free kick going Fitzroy's way, the kick taken by Appleton. He places the ball very well toward the wing position on the outer side. And we'll see, looks Thompson. like Thompson from this position, take the kick, a high kick, in towards centre-half forward. David Wall getting under the ball, got up high, didn't take the ball, did he? No, he's called play on. He had it as he came down, but hasn't been paid. Fitzroy going into attack once again with a kick up towards centre-half forward. At the back of the pack is Doug Searle. Can he get the shot at goal? It's toward goal, but it's not carrying far enough. Austin forced out of the way, the ball forced through, and good keeping by Peter Welsh. That point uh, pushed through by Peter Welsh takes Fitzroy on to exactly 10, 10, 70 points. Fitzroy on 9, 8, 62. Eight points in it, 18 minutes into the third term. Waiting for Gary Merrington to put the ball back into play. The Ruckman position themselves on the outer side of the ground. Merrington a little bit hesitant at this stage, but finally decides to drive the ball in that direction. Nice looking kick. 60 metre torpedo punt kick McCulloch goes for the spoil nearly ended up taking the mark the ball being pushed along here an opportunity for Fitzroy to go further forward through Thompson as he gets the left foot into it across towards the centre half forward position a bad bounce is a little bit upsetting down Good there play. picked up by Litton who gets through nicely goes for the short pass not all that effective interception is by Casey as Gordon Casey comes in utilises the hand pass to open play up as power secures on centre wing he gets balanced onto the right foot then another